Hey guys, um, today I want to show you my little experiment on uh, lacto fermentation. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a uh, old method in which you use the uh, natural bacteria in fruits and vegetables to preserve foods. And uh, it's kind of a new thing coming back in, you know, a lot of the uh, uh, paleo dieters are using it. And uh, well, here at the homestead, there is actually an apple tree in the uh, woods just off my property. It's probably old from back when this uh, place used to be a farm, I don't know, like 50, 60 years ago. And the tree's still alive and kicking. And, uh, you know, I've been kind of eating apples from it. And you can see they're not the best looking apples. They got a lot of spots and bruises and nasty stuff on them and bug bites. And, you know, they're just not the best looking. And I've been eating them and no big deal. And I kind of thought I wanted to find a way to uh, preserve some of these. And in the condition they were in, I wanted to basically do an experiment. So I decided to try lacto fermentation. And uh, what I've done here is actually made a uh, lacto fermented uh, applesauce. And it's actually really easy, very, very easy. And I'll explain to you how I did it. And uh, we'll have to update this video in three days and let you know how this works out. If it's a complete and total failure, I will uh, put a little annotation here and uh, let you know. So basically what it is, I took these apples, these nasty, dirty looking apples, and I washed them really good. I mean, I washed them, scrubbed them, you know, got them as clean as I can get them because some of them are on the ground. As you can see, they got all kinds of nasty gunk on them. And uh, put them into a blender and kind of blended them down to the consistency I wanted. I added a little bit of water to thin them out. And then I added uh, some cinnamon to taste. And uh, I think it was like two tablespoons of salt is what the recipe called for. So I added a little bit of salt and I used uh, pickling salt. You don't use the uh, iodized salt. And then what you do to start the fermentation is add uh, a starter culture, which is pretty much whey. Um, you can get this by uh, filtering it from your yogurt is one option. Another is to go to a store and use a uh, starter culture. So I went to a local uh, grocery store and got a starter culture. I should have kept the packaging for you guys to show you, but I didn't. I already chucked it away. So I do apologize. I added that all in, mixed it together, and put it into these uh, ball canning jars. And uh, what you're supposed to do from here is basically let these sit at room temperature for three days, I guess, and you'll see bubbling and foam and all kinds of fun stuff from fermentation. And then uh, you're supposed to store these in a refrigerator or a root cellar or someplace cold. And they're supposed to be good for uh, several months, two, three months. I hear even longer, but two, three months is kind of the general uh, safety line. And, uh, you know, normally this would be something you would do with good, nice, you know, kind of purchased organic uh, apples. But I did these with these... Uh, backyard beauties here so one of the problems that could come up if there is any contamination here with these apples it could ruin the project because what you need is that good bacteria to basically sterilize this you know to get rid of the bad bacteria and to keep the apple from decaying or, or creating any toxins or anything through the the process of decaying with the bad bacteria so if you know i didn't have things as sterile as I'd like, or these apples just were contaminated too much with stuff, you know, this won't work out. And you'll be able to tell because the uh, it'll have an odd decaying smell. It won't smell right. So in three days, I'll know. I'll update you guys. And another thing too, guys, these green apples probably are not the best thing to make uh, applesauce out of. But you know what? It's what I had available. They were 100% free, and literally this entire thing cost me, you know, a couple of bucks in canning jars, which I already had them. They were, uh, you know, they're reused, they're, they're recycled, so it really cost me nothing for those. And then uh, it was, uh, you're looking about a couple of bucks for the uh, starter culture. So you're looking, you know, two or three dollars for all this applesauce. And if I would have bought the uh, culture, or if I would have uh, gotten the whey from uh, straining it from yogurt, it would have been free. So pretty much uh, 
is a great way to store apples long term. Good skill to have and uh, we're going to be doing some more of this in the future and this is the first project is the applesauce. We're going to try some other things. We're going to make some uh, lacto fermented pickles. We're going to make some uh, you know you name it. We're going to try some salsas and some dips and all kinds of stuff. We're just, we're just going to wait and see how this uh, applesauce turns out first. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, like I said guys something neat to check out lacto fermentation. It's uh, basically what our ancestors did you know that they didn't have fancy canners they didn't have canning jars and things like that they fermented this stuff and put it into whatever containers they had available and and put it in a root cellar for a couple of months so this is uh history on our side so hope you enjoyed